So the Pharisees point out what Moses said. Jesus explains why Moses said it. In other words, Moses, they said, uh, permitted divorce. Jesus says, well, this is why he did it. And he says in verse 5, the reason why. <clears throat> it was because your hearts were hard that Moses permitted you to get a divorce. A hard heart is the reason that people sought a divorce, is what Jesus said. A hard heart is not something that Jesus uses to compliment anyone. Everywhere in the Bible, a hard heart is something that is very unrighteous, and it, dis it really shows us that when someone acts out of a hard heart, they're usually seen as stubborn, prideful, um, arrogant, uh, self-willed. Uh, they don't care what the will of God is. They only care about what they want. Um, they won't be persuaded by uh, the things of God or by what God wants. Um, they, they can't be reasoned with uh, from scriptures. They're blind to the will of God and the truth of God. Uh, they're just someone who's self-seeking and self-centered. That's what someone with a hard heart is like. Pharaoh, for instance, of Egypt, if you go back and you read the account, uh, it says that he had a hard heart. And you look at how he treated Moses and the way he reacted to what God said, he would have nothing to do with what God said. He was just blowing off everything that God said. And he said, who is the Lord that I should listen to him? And he was basically opposing Moses. He was opposing the command of God to set the Israelites free because he had a hard heart. He didn't care what the will of God was. He didn't care who God was. He only cared about what he wanted. It's a bad place for someone to be. As a matter of fact, the Jews are the same way right now. It says that right now they are hardened. And what that means is that they reject Jesus. They reject the will of God that they believe in Jesus as their Messiah. Uh, their minds and their understanding are dark. Uh, their, their, their ability to comprehend the truth of God right now is, is completely um, uh, dysfunctional. They don't get what God wants right now because they've rejected Jesus. Um, Ephesians chapter 4.18 connects ignorance with a hard heart when it says this, Gentiles are darkened in their understanding, separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Ignorance is the result of a hard heart. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 13 says uh, that a hard heart can deceive a person. See to it, brothers, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God, but encourage one another daily as long as it is called today so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. So a heart that is sinful, unbelieving and turning away from God will become deceived and increasingly hardened, unresponsive to God, unable to detect the will of God. Listen, a person with a hard heart doesn't care about the will of God. They don't care about pleasing God. They only care about their own will and pleasing themselves. Now imagine what that does to a marriage relationship. That puts a marriage on a one-way track to destruction and ultimately divorce. See, a hard heart, Jesus says, is the reason that the, the Jews sought a divorce. What about you? If you were divorced, was it because of a hard heart? Or if you're married right now and you're considering a divorce or you're planning a divorce, do you have a hard heart? Nothing good can come from a hard heart.